So let's start with plan mural. Eh? So this is a plan mural. So there are a few things that you need to know about plan mural. First, the image formed by the plan mural is what? First, is virtual. Okay, virtual. You see, the image is inside the mural. It's not on the surface of the mirrors okay it's not on the screen it's not on the surface of the mirror it's inside the mirrors and therefore it's virtual eh? it's virtual and it's upright okay upright means it's not inverted the head on top the head on top right okay so the hand okay above the head the hand is also above the head so it's upright it's not inverted inverted means that uh, here the head on top but here the the head at uh, at the bottom so, okay then it's inverted Okay, but for plain mirrors, the image is upright. It's upright. And uh, same size as the object. You will find that okay, the size of all size of all the object inside here is uh, is the same size of all the objects outside. Uh, here it, it looks smaller, right? Okay, this one is big, this one is small. That is because uh it's uh, it's far away. Okay, not it's because this one actually uh, it's not because the image is smaller, but it's because it's far away, so that's why it looks smaller. But actually the size is the same eh? okay so that is the characteristics of the image that you need to know okay and then uh, it's literally inverted literally inverted means that the left become right and the right become left okay for example if uh, if uh, for this lady let's say the right hand okay the right hand or the left hand okay let's say the left hand okay so if the left hand of the lady has a band, has a blue band. So let's say we have a blue band here. Okay. So this is the left hand of the lady has a blue band here. Okay. But then sir, you will find that okay, inside the image, okay, the right hand will have a band. Okay. So this is the left hand. Okay, this is the left hand, eh? but inside the image, this is the right hand, right? So inside the mirrors of the, the image, the left become right, the, the right become left. Okay, and we call this literally inverted. So the image is uh, same size, upright, let, but it's uh, literally inverted, and it's virtual. Virtual means that it's not formed on the screen. Okay, not formed on the screen. And also you will find that the distance of the object, this is the object, okay? This is the object, the distance of the object from the mirror, okay? This is the place uh, of the mirrors, okay? So distance of the object from the mirrors is the same as the distance of the image from the mirror. If this lady is three meter from the mirror, then you will find that this image is also three meter from the mirror. So the distance between the image and mirror is equal to the distance between the object and mirror. That's what you need to know uh, about plan mirror. Drawing ray diagram of a plan mirror. Okay. Now in the exam, uh, they may give you something like this. Okay. They tell you that, okay, this is the object and then this is the observer, the eye of the observer, and this is a mirror. Okay. And they would like you to draw the ray diagram of the formations of image by the plan mirror. Okay. So they would like you to draw this. So how to draw this? Huh? how to draw this okay there are the steps uh, there are a the few steps that you need to follow okay first okay first uh, uh, or step one okay you can see that so okay, step one is draw the virtual image uh, draw the virtual image now, how to draw the virtual image okay we know that the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror okay so you just measure okay let's say you measure this point okay you measure this point uh, you measure this point okay you uh, then you find that this is uh, let's say 10 cm okay 10 cm so then you use your ruler okay yeah you use your ruler you need to have a reference line actually yeah? okay so because uh, it's perpendicular so you, you use a reference line here okay so you draw a reference line which is a perpendicular to the plane okay and then you measure 10 cm okay so so your 10 cm is here okay so then you get your first point okay uh, then you, you try to draw the second point again. Okay? So this second point and you measure 10 cm again and then uh, here you plot 10 cm. Okay? After you have this two point, then you can start drawing your image. Start drawing your image. Huh? So you see the first step is to draw the image first. By using the rules, uh, the distance of the image from the mirror equal to the distance of the object from the mirror. If this is 10 cm, this is also 10 cm. Okay, Here to here 10 cm, here to here also 10 cm. 
So distance of object equal to distance of image. Yeah? Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to draw. Okay, so after that, okay, after that, uh, uh, on this image, you choose a point. Okay, you choose a point. That point is for you to draw this uh, ray diagram. Okay, to draw all this line. The point can be anywhere. Okay. It can be here, okay, you can choose this point, you can choose this point, you can choose this point, you can choose at the back here or in front here, it's up to you actually. Uh, in this case, I choose the middles of the uh, ball, okay, the center of the circle, the centers of the circle, I choose this point as a reference point, okay. The image forms at a point where the two lines intersect. So if this is a point that you choose, uh, then you need to draw all the lines, uh, uh, these two lines, you can draw more than two lines, but usually just draw two lines, okay. So this two lines, uh, it will uh, focus or intersect at this point. So draw two reflected rays, one from the top of the images to the top of the eye and the other one from the top of the images to the bottoms of the eye. Okay. Now in this case, uh, it says it's from the top of the images. Uh, okay. Top means here, okay. but in this case, I use the center. You can use the top or the bottoms of the center. It's up to you. Okay. So one is from the point that you choose uh, to the top of the eye. Another one is to the bottoms of the eye. So after that, draw the respective incident rays for the reflect uh, and uh, for the reflected rays you draw in step two. Okay. Uh, after that, okay. So you see this one, eh? Uh, we draw two lines eh, from this point to the eye. Okay. These solid lines represent the ray. Okay. And uh, behind the mirror, this is in front of the mirror. Behind the mirror, this line. Okay. This is just a reference line because there's no right. Sorry, there's no light reach this area the lights come here and then reflect it there's no light here so this two line is just a reference line huh? and we use a dotted line for the reference line so even though i say draw two two straight line okay but from the mirrors to the image huh, we use a dotted line and from the mirrors to the eye we use a solid line huh? so after you have this two light ray okay then uh then we draw the incident ray yeah? okay we know that the ray is come from the center because the image is at the center okay so the, the source must be from the centers of the object so we draw two light ray yeah? from the mirrors to the points of the reference okay and uh, then we label the directions of the ray yeah? directions of the ray is from the objects to the eye uh, then then we complete so we complete uh, the ray diagram okay and for the ray diagram uh, you will find that the angles of incident angle equal to the angles of reflections but uh you, you don't need to measure okay yeah because we don't use this rule to draw the ray diagram okay so you don't need to measure uh, 30 degree 30 degree and then you draw okay so you don't need to measure the angles to draw the ray diagram eh? okay we draw the image first and the image the distance of the image from the mirror is equal to the distance of the object from the mirror so that is the steps in drawing ray diagram. So let's try to do this. Eh? The very first thing is draw the virtual image. So we measure. So if you have your ruler with you, you can try to measure the distance of the object. Let's take a top, okay? This point, yeah? Uh, measure the distance of the top of the object, uh, the distance of the object from the mirror, okay? You can draw a reference line first. Uh, this line is perpendicular to the mirror. Eh? Okay. Use pencil to draw this line and later on you can erase it. Eh? So this is 90 degree and then uh, measure the distance from the mirrors to the object. So after you measure, then we know that this is the top of the object. So then we uh, draw the circle here. Okay. So make sure that the distance of the object to the mirror and the mirrors to the image is the same. Eh? Okay. So the reference line, we can erase the reference line, okay. So now we have our object here. So we complete first step. And then uh, second, choose one point, one point of the image as a reference. Okay, let's say uh, we take the top, okay, we take here, the top as a reference. So second step, draw two reflected ray, one from the top of the image to the top of the eye, and another one from the top of the image to the bottoms of the eye. So it's from the top of the image to the Eye, yeah? So this is the top of the eye and this is the bottoms of the eye, let's say. So, uh, oh, okay. So here I do not choose the top. Uh, I choose this point. Okay. I choose the point in front. Uh, this point, this point here is, is, is the reflected point yeah? of this point. Yeah? So we draw two straight lines, okay, from this point to the top of the eye and this point to the bottoms of the eye. 
And uh, this this two line should be dotted line. Yeah, this two line should be dotted line. So let's uh, let's erase it. So erase it to make it dotted line. Oh, I'm a dot. Okay, this one also. Okay, now after you have this two line, okay, the the ones uh, at the back is a dotted line. The one the one in front uh, is a solid line. Okay, we need to draw the ref uh, the incident ray. Okay, we need to draw the incident ray. You need to know that this one, uh, okay, the the point is here, okay. So the respective, the the corresponding uh, point is here, okay. So draw the respective incident rays for the uh, reflected rays you draw in step two, okay. So this is the first one. So from this point we draw to the this ray, and from this point also we draw to this ray, okay. Okay, then uh, we complete this ray diagram. Okay, that's how we draw the ray diagram for plane mirror. So we draw the image first, and then choose the points. Okay, choose the points on the image. Okay, and then uh, it can be a top, bottom, center, front, back. It's up to you. Okay, it's totally up to you. You can choose top or bottoms or whatever. Okay, and then draw two two light ray yeah? from these points to the top of the eye, and from this point to the bottoms of the eye. Okay, and then so make sure that you you use a dotted line okay for the lines behind the mirror and then draw two lines from the object uh, the point must be from the corresponding points of the image yeah? because if you choose this point here then you must use this okay? you cannot you choose this point here and then for here you choose the but the bottoms okay you choose this point uh, then it's not correct okay so that is the drawing ray diagram of a plain mirror let's see question one a man stands 10 meters in front of a large plain mirror. How far must he walk before he is 5 meters away from his image? Now this 5 meters is from him to his image. Huh? Answer. So the answer is 7.5 meters. Let's see why. Huh? Let's see why. Okay, let's say this is a floor. Okay, this is the mirror. Okay. Initially the man is uh, 10 meters. So this is the man. This is the man. Okay. Let's see, where is the image? If this is the man, where is his image? So, the man is 10 meter in front of a large plane. So, from him, okay, it's 10 meter. And then the image is also 10 meter, right? So in this case, the man is how many meter from the image? 20, yes, that's correct, okay? So the man is 20 meter from his image. Now the question say how far must he walk before he is five meter from his image? Five meter from his image uh, means that he must move forward, right? But when he move forward, the image also move forward. Now the question says that okay, so the distance from the man from his image must be five meter, five meter from his image. So the image is here and the man is here, five meter. So let's move it five meter. Okay, so let's say he's here, and the image also move forwards, and the image is here. Okay, so now they are five meter from each other, the image and the object. Now five meter means that uh, the man is uh, two point five meter, two point five meter from the mirror, and the image is also two point five meter from the mirror, right? Okay, so then how far he has walked from here to here? How far he has walked? Initially he's here. Okay, now he move forward so that he's five meter from the image. Five meter from the image means two point five meter from the mirror, right? Yes, he has walk. He has walk seven point five meter. So the answer is seven point five meter. Okay, ten minus two point five. That's correct. That's how the questions look like for a SBM. Uh, it's a little bit tricky, okay? They, they, they don't want you to find the distance of the mirror and the object. They want you to find the uh, the distance of, of the object from the image or how far he has moved so that the distance is 5 meters, okay? Something like this. Huh? 